I, I always congratulate the other team. I, I've done that for years. But I mean that really sincerely. Uh, congratulations to CIU and to their coaching staff, who is in their second year there, to come in here. We've never had a CIU team come in here and compete like that. And um, it required everything we had tonight. And I, I, I'm, I'm really proud of the job they've done there. Uh, we play them every year because we have a very similar belief system, and I respect them and respect their institution. And so to help them out by giving them a game guarantee is, uh, you know, we just want to do that. But I'm going to have to really honestly rethink that. Um, you don't want your opening game to be like that uh, when you're playing a non-Division one. And so they played extremely well the first 10 minutes of the game. Uh, and, and, and we were ready. We were ready to play. Our guys were ready to play. And um, so congratulations to them. It's a great effort by them. And they're going to have a fantastic year at their level in their league. And uh, I don't know what the final spread was. I guess 20, 28. Uh, that certainly wasn't a 28-point game. Uh, it's more like a, a 10, 12-point game. And uh, we got them in some foul trouble. And we had to really adjust, adjust our offensive scheme uh, and, and give ourselves a chance to be more patient and get the ball to the rim. We were shooting so fast the first 10 minutes, which gave them lots of opportunities to get out in transition and get open threes. And we've got to be more disciplined in our shot selection and more disciplined to share the ball. Uh, second half of the year last year, and we were really good offensively. We were just clicking, and we're not there yet. And they knocked us back on our heels defensively in the first half. Um, they shot uh, 61 percent. Second half shot 24 percent. And so we figured them out a little bit, wore them down a little bit, and um, and uh, it took it took a great effort from our guys. And I give that team a lot of credit. You guys played nine guys at least 11 minutes tonight, um, and you talked about in the preseason the depth that you thought you were going to have. Um, you, you know, maybe in a closer game, you can't play that many guys that many minutes. But how important was it in the opener to get that many guys on the floor for extended periods of time to where you can get film on them and, and see how they play? Yeah. We, 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 we think our rotation can squeak to nine. We think we can get that to nine. I'd like to get it to ten. I'd like to add one more. Uh, but we've had so many injuries and, and so many guys banged up that uh, we haven't been able to get enough reps with those 10 through 14 guys to move them into that lineup. Even in our two scrimmages where we played very well, we only played eight or nine guys uh, just because of injuries. And so um, we want to we want to we want to keep working uh, to to expand that to to 10. I thought we got a little tired tonight. Uh, our pace and, and what we're demanding defensively. Um, I thought we we got a little fatigued last tonight, and um, we got we got to continue to work on that. Uh, we're not in elite condition. We haven't because we've been so banged up. We're, we're usually by this point of the year, we're in elite condition, and we've had to pull back strategically to give some uh, some guys an, uh, an extended opportunity to heal. And uh, the Don Trails and the Flemings and the and the Ty Jones and those guys, um, you know, these guys all had medical procedures, um, you know, four months ago. So we're trying to give them extended time to heal by not putting too much pressure on them. And, and I thought you could tell tonight that we were a little bit winded. Uh, but that we'll play ourselves into shape and, and we'll be just fine. Ty, can you talk? I mean, you had a great game tonight. Um, and I know that feels good for you to, to come out in your first game. And you've had some injury problems, you know, been up and down. But I wanted to, I wanted to ask you about uh, so much it's made of, you know, there's no Christian out there now. There's no Keeling. And this is up. This is for you guys to kind of take control of this team because this was his team for the last couple of years, and everybody looked to him as a group and, and as you personally. How how are y'all accepting that role? And, and and do you talk about it or or I mean, you personally, do you feel like you need to raise your level of play because now you're a veteran guy? Um. Well, we don't really talk about like him just leaving. Because, I mean, yeah, he was a great asset to our team, 18, 19 points a game, you know, a really great player. But, I mean, we have players on our team that can fill that role. Flan, Trail, Deontay, um, me as well. Like, we can we can all average 13, 14 points. We can fill that spot. Um, but, like, us being veteran players is, I mean, it's just, 
is us having confidence just to shoot the ball or just to play. Us just play with confidence, as Coach Ray told us. Nah, like, just don't be hesitant. Because the more you, the more you, hes the more you be hesitant, the more is you're going to make mistakes. So like when you make a mistake, you just got to look past it and go to the next play. So, uh, you know, like with him going, I mean, I, I feel like we'll have a better uh, rotation for one. And I, I feel like we'll be able to move the ball better and actually use all our options mm -hmm. instead of just like looking for one. We heard you say a couple of times, he can't guard me, he can't guard me. What was that all about? Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I mean, I was, just, I was just in the right position. That's, that, that's all it is. I mean, I'm, I'm in the right position to score. Uh, Coach Ray, uh, Coach Butters, they put me in the right position to score. And I mean, my teammates, they, they drive the ball, shoot the shot, and it goes in. So that's, that's really it. It's just they put me in the right position to score. We feel tied. tied. We recruited Ty as a small forward, and we're playing him at the five. And, um, and so that's, he, he, he presents a matchup problem, not only tonight, but the second half, second two thirds of the season last year, Ty was a problem in our league. And he was a problem for other teams. And uh, we put him in a position where he can, he can use his skills to the best of his ability. He can make a 15 foot shot, which makes people guard him. Um, and, and then we're just really working with him on the defensive end and his defensive rebounding uh, because of his size. He's got great girth and strength, uh, but we're really working on his boxing out. And uh, so tonight, uh, five def defensive rebounds, so that's pretty good, and uh, led us in rebounding. So um, we have a lot of confidence, and we feel like we have two starters at the five between him and, and Sidarius. Uh, we have a tremendous amount of confidence in also. And uh, Sidarius just does his job, he just quietly does his job. And, and uh, But Ty creates a lot of problems for people, and, and uh, He's a, and his conditioning right now is about 50 60 percent because we've had to hold him. He had a, had a surgery. Uh, so he's the best is certainly ahead for him. We've got to round it out offensively a little bit. We're not quite where we want to be offensively. The 99 points is deceiving. Um, we, we, we know we got to share the ball more. We, gotta, uh, we took some very, very difficult shots, particularly the first 10 minutes, which gave them amazing opportunities. And we got, a, we, got, we got such talented guys uh, that we got to move at a time or two more and, and create open shots instead of one, two passes with contested shots. There's such a big difference. And then, you know, second half, second half, we just said don't shoot until the ball touches the paint. And uh, it's really pretty good for us. I like that we only took 12 threes. We want to hang our hat on, on defense and rebounding. And, uh, and, and getting the ball to the rim. And uh, we've done that very well through two, two scrimmages and, and one game now. Coach, your home floor was a magical place for you guys last year. How important was it to come out here and kind of set the tone like you did tonight at home? Man, that was terrific tonight. That introduction, I mean, it brought tears to my eyes. It was amazing for, for that, for our people, uh, led by Jeff Barber. I mean, it's just excellent. That was excellent. That was an excellent. Uh, laser show, it was excellent video, it, it, as good as anywhere in the country. And the Bug Dome was electric. It was loud when we came back, 10 down, golly, 10 down, 8 down. And then, and then the, it, it was crazy in there. And it's the best home court advantage in the Big South. And now we're adding the excellent touches, um, the video board. Man, that, that, that's, you, you, I'll put that against anybody in the country. Anybody in the country, I'll put that against. And then the laser show and the energy in the building and the band was great and the, the, it was full and students came out. It just a lot of work by a lot of people. That's a lot of work to be able to produce that at that type of excellence. It, that, it just doesn't happen. Um, and, and I'm just thankful. I'm just thankful. I mean, all the small touches, uh, the plants and the lights and the, and the the press row and all the small touches are just important for excellence. It's important for recruiting. It's important for how our guys feel about themselves. And we're making really, really big strides. I, I was so proud. I was really proud, really proud of our students and, and our athletic administration to be able to put that on in the first game. We, you know, they, I've heard before, first game's a test run. Well, that, that wasn't a test run. That was really, really, really well done. And I'm, I'm very, very thankful for that. And, and uh, it energizes us, and we feel it, and it helps in every way. We felt that tonight. I felt it. I know our players felt it. 
and so it's fun, man. That Buck Gnome's fun to play, and someday we're gonna have a new arena, and it's gonna, wow, it's gonna, I'm gonna miss that little place. You got uh, A&T, Furman, Dayton, Michigan State. I'm not trying to depress you, but no. But, uh, <laughs> but what do you want to see over the next 10 days with this group? Uh, what What are the major points of emphasis you're gonna have as y'all go through this this pretty demanding schedule? Yeah, we want to compete. I want to compete. We have very high expectations for this team. I haven't. I didn't back away from it on media day. Um, what that translates into wins and losses, I don't know, because it's very difficult. This 11-game uh, non-conference schedule is very, very difficult. And what that translates, but I, 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 we're not stepping away from that. We expect to compete Friday night at a very high level. We expect to improve between then and now. Um, we expect to improve the next time we go out, the next time we go out, the next time we go out. And, what an opportunity to play four very good teams, four very good teams. I mean, I don't. I think um, A and T won 19, and everybody else won 20 plus, and one of them's ranked number one in the country. And so let's go compete, let's go fight, let's get better, let's stay positive. But we can get a lot better from this game. I mean, this game really. Usually these games don't test us, and at the end of the night it's 102 to 44, and you know, okay, this game tested us. I mean, this really tested us. We, our guys gave an amazing effort. I mean, we've got some hurting guys. And so uh, this, this game and, and all these games are, are just going to help us as we move forward. And we want to compete. We want to represent Charleston Southern in a big-time way. And we want to get in those arenas. And we, wanna, we, wanna get in, we want good teams coming here. And we want to elevate the whole thing. And that's by bringing in great competition. And it's hard to get teams to come play here. So I applaud Furman and North Carolina Central for coming to play here. I applaud them. Um, and those will be great games. And, and two very good coaches at those schools. And then, obviously, our, our non-conference schedule is incredible. So we'll break this down. We'll learn from it. We'll see what we, how we can get better. And we'll come back and, and get after it tomorrow. And be ready. we'll be ready for Friday night.